Hi and welcome to another episode of PeaceMag TV. In today's video tutorial for WordPress, we're going to be jumping into OceanWP and seeing how we can create this really cool off-page filter. So let's just jump into WordPress and take a look at how we can do all of that right now. Let's just jump into the admin section of WordPress and take a look at what we can do with this particular filter. Now, just to show you an action, it really is very, very simple. You'll see if you've got WooCommerce installed, you have this option now that's part of the actual OceanWP theme. It allows you to click that, and we can open up this left-hand side, this off-screen filter, which we can go through and put different items into. So I'm going to show you how you can do that, how you can set it up and use it inside your WooCommerce store. Okay, so let's just jump back into WordPress go to our dashboard and make sure that we've got everything in place. So the first thing I want to do is just jump into the customizer and we can take a look at how we can do this. So if we come into the appearance tab and come down to customize. We're going to open up the Ocean WP customizer. Now, if you've never used Ocean WP, you're going to find that the theme itself has a huge amount of options available inside the customizer itself. It's a very, very good theme to work with and very easy to work with, with tons of options for customizing. Now you're going to find that I've got additional options on the left hand side because I've got a couple of the plugins, the extra plugins installed which gives me extra different features. Things like modal window, social sharing and so on. You don't need that installed, we just need to make sure we've got WooCommerce set up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come into the WooCommerce setting. And you can see in there we've got a range of different options where we can come in and do various different things. So once we're in the filter setting, we need to go to the archives. This is basically where you see your shop pages. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll right the way down and you'll see at the bottom we've got the option that says display the filter button and you've then got what text you want to use in there. So just make sure that's checked if you want to change filter for something else, whatever language you're working with, or you may want to put a specific name in there for that, whatever you want in there and that'll update itself. Once you've done that, make sure you hit published if it's not already selected to make sure it's active and then we can just jump back out of this. We jump back out, come back into our dashboard. So there's the first part. We've enabled that filter. The next thing we need to do is go through and specify what's going to go in there. Now, this is pretty easy. All we need to do is just jump into the appearance tab again, but this time we're going to come down to widgets. Now, this is working in the same way that all the widgets work inside WordPress itself. So if you've got a footer that's widgetized, you can drag and drop the different widget options you want in there. And if you're not sure what a widget is, it's basically little building block elements that are part of WordPress. So things like a custom menu, you might have a tag cloud in there. You can have a whole range of different things. And when you install things like WooCommerce and OceanWP, you'll find you have additional options available in there that are specific to the widget sections of WordPress. So if we take a look now on the right hand side, you can see we've got things like right sidebar, left sidebar, sidebar search results and so on. But what we want is the off canvas filters. If we expand that out, you can see all the options that I've chosen are listed in there. I can expand any of those out and I can do things like change the title. I can just update and specify exactly what I want these to do. So you can see for the product categories, for example, I can change the title of that if I want to. I can change the order and so on. And if I want to add something else in here, I can simply just drag it out from the left hand side from all the available widgets. So let's just say that I wanted to do something like filter products by rating. So if we've got ratings enabled, this is pretty cool. So people can see the four and five star products. Well, we can just simply drag that over, drop it where we want it, change the title if we want to. If we want to change the order, we can simply do that, drag it around to get it into position exactly where we want. Once you've done that, if you make any changes, just make sure you click the Save option to make sure that all those are committed. Once you've done that, you can just simply jump back over. We'll refresh this page. The Filter button, all ready for us. Click and expand that out, and you can see now we've now got our Average Rating option in there, alongside our Product Categories, Filter by Price, and the Search option. That's how easy it is to add this incredibly useful off-page filter option using Ocean WP. Now, this is really good if you have an online store and you want to give people just more control over how they find the products on the site. That's a great way of doing it. Well, that's all there is to this particular tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, smash the like, and hit the bell notification to be notified every time we add new content. If you'd like to help support the channel, please consider using the links in the description below. They're affiliate links, and they give a small percentage back to the channel. As always, I'd love to hear your comments and feedback on this feature and anything you'd like to see covered on the channel in the future. Well, until next time, take care.